Hello everyone. Just wanted to show you the box. The, let's say, half unboxing of Gatefall. This is the box it came in. I have unwrapped it previously, but this is how it looked. So you see, really, really well protected. Giant bubble all over. And now, this is it. I just unwrapped it five minutes ago and took out the film. But uh, I haven't opened the boxes yet. So this is Kickstarter exclusives. Jack is thanking everyone. This is nice. Let's take a look at the uh, Kickstarter extras. So, Piggy, regular size, and arena mode side. Okay. The mini. Looking good. No flaws. And in fact, it's lighter than I thought it would be. Right? Because it's hollow, the base. Next one. Celine. Regular side. And arena mode side. Okay, so uh, nice gesture, I'd say, ironically. Again, lighter than I thought it would be, but there's no loss in detail. Nothing's bended. It's a really hard plastic, although light. And these are the ghosts that uh, Celine will call upon. Right, those here are the tokens. So, easy to get through. So, let's get the one everyone's expecting. Chapter 1, Fantasy vs. Post-Apocalyptic. And we know Jack has uh, future plans for uh, additional content. Right? Okay, protection, and the cardboard is, uh, well, can take a few boxes on top. So let's see. Let's get the minis first. Okay, I'll get the minis, but I'll get the cards so I can ident identify them. 
So let's take a look at Randar, regular side and arena mode side. Okay, so this was not really focusing, but here's Vrandar again. See his hidden face. Great details. And I know you want a big one. So this is Brook. Regular side. Arena mode side. And here's the giant. <laughs> Again, much lighter than I expected. You see the details? This was a hard job. Remember, he pointing out this. There's a hole here. Not sure. Take a look later. But there's no loss of detail. You might remember a, a Kickstarter update where Jack was a. Uh, lamenting what happened but oh, I don't see a problem now next one firebug regular side and arena mode side uh, here you are again no plastic left over, no flashing. There's a slight, ever so slight bend on the uh, gun edge, but uh, I mean, it's quite okay. Again, lighter than I expected. Next one, we've got uh, Lost Boy. Normal side and arena mode side and uh, well I'm not sure if uh, his uh, sword is uh, supposed to uh, be like this but uh, uh, well if it's not uh, I'll get I'll dip it in some warm water and then the, it will be fine. But if it is, it looks kind of funny anyway. Again, no loss of details. You see the scarf? The scarf notches. Perfect. You see the fingers and the hand. Remember the hand changed the changed the angle. That was another Kickstarter update. Nothing wrong with legs, again lighter than I expected. You see the buttons detail on the jeans? So I have to check on the uh, sword, but then again. One more looking really good. Now we got the Exile. Normal side. And Arena mode side didn't comment but uh, the card is great no bending amazing sometimes curing the cardboard can be a problem no bands whatsoever in fact if I put a bunch together there's like close to no band you have the exile because I was I dropped out of the video in Exile, so here's Exile.
again lighter the type of material I mean I, I think it's great this is a great material okay this is penny normal side and uh, arena mode side Here's Penny. Great looking, great looking dog. Really nice. doesn't look like uh, threatening but we'll see finally we have Gildry regular side and arena mode side is Gildry Get him to focus. The hammer head is amazing. Amazing. Not banded whatsoever. No flashing, no plastic bit, bits, plastic bits, nothing. Really looking good. So let's see, here's the dice. Tactile. It's okay. Not the largest, but you have a whole bunch of them. Much better than just stickers. Here you go. And uh, the status pointers. I think it's great they are tall. Maybe they can uh, fall over easier, but they're much more tactile and larger, in fact. So let's see. It's okay. Now the cards. Okay. Again, no bands, nothing, they're straight, they're plasticky, not too thick, but it's okay. So, I won't be uh, browsing all of them, but... Uh, well, these are the value cards, so a bunch of them. Okay, so let's see, I've taken out the cards, uh, and we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, zero cards. 
and then we have fourteen one cards and again twenty two cards eight number three cards five eel cards so probably there will only be uh, I don't know one per character available we've got the upgrade info card two turn summaries And now the uh, equipment. Okay, so uh, I really don't see where to uh, to store the cards. So I got a baggie. I mean, maybe it was missed out, but uh, I don't see anywhere. So just get a baggie and get them under the uh, the plastic uh, the plastic inner. Okay, the boards. So. Okay, here's one. And here's the other one. Looking great. Again, not the thickest cardboard, but it's 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 straight. And there's a uh, protective film to improve uh, rigidity, I guess. So here's the pathway. The uh, rule book. We know there's an uh, errata that you should print. Jack pointed it out. It's no biggie, it's just a half a dozen uh, sentences. Seems detailed enough. And finally, the punch out tokens. You can see them all here. That's pretty much it. In the end, I'll say, uh, well, great packaging. I was surprised with the uh, outer box and the uh, wrapping. Uh, I'd give it a five star on the packaging. Uh, quality components, I'll say a four, which is really great. They're all good quality. The minis, the cards, the boards, the tokens, the markers and dice, everything is quite easy to cater for and the readability is great. A uh, manual is okay. Uh, I mean, it's clear enough and easy to get into, but uh, you have uh, two sections of uh, facts and rules clarifications that can be a bit confusing. Uh, half of them can easily be swapped for a quarter page on each uh, character's abilities uh, details. 
Uh, also, bear in mind that uh, people getting the game, they should print the latest errata listed in the project updates. It's a, it's a short one, but uh, you should print it. A small note, there's no card well, no extra baggies for cards and tokens, so you should get your own uh, baggies. In the event of uh, Chapter 2, maybe you could make a room for these in the next ones. So I'd say it's a great value for money. I mean, I, I'm in the end spectrum of the uh, uh, shipping cost, which was $25. So I got it uh, overall for $64. I mean, in the USA, in the UK, and uh, Northern Europe, you're getting the shipping for $10. So that's overall price of $49. Are you kidding? Uh, we'll see how it plays on the table, but I have a feeling it will be easy to get into. It will require careful resource management and some uh, deeper tactical depth choices as the play develops. I wish Jack the best of luck. Keep them coming, and please make some profit next time. Okay, Jack? That's all.